morning. Today we're looking at example 4, overtime pay, out of section 2.3, nonlinear functions. In this problem, our workers are paid a fixed rate up to 40 hours per week, and for hours over 40 hours, they're paid time and a half. So one of the things is we'd like to compute the regular hours. Well, that's just hours, if hours is less than 40, but if they work more than 40 hours, say 50 hours a week, they'd only have 40 regular hours. Overtime hours is the maximum of zero and hours minus 40. If I work 50 hours a week, 10 of those hours are overtime hours. And if I work 30 hours a week, I take the maximum of zero and 30 minus 40 is minus 10. The maximum is zero, so at 30 hours a week, I'd have no overtime hours. When we look at the general setup, we're going to want hours, base rate, the regular pay, which is the number of hours if you're less than 40 hours a week, times the rate. But if you're more than 40 hours, it's only 40 hours times the base rate. The overtime pay is the number of overtime hours and the total pay is the regular pay plus the overtime pay. When I look at that in numbers, notice that my regular pay is increasing by 8 until I get to 40 hours a week, and then I'm getting paid $12 an hour for overtime pay, and that gives me total pay. I can easily change this to change the base rate then and pay for different number of hours and a different base rate but this gives me a way of computing it. If I have, everybody gets time and a half for overtime, but there are different base rates. Thank you.